You've heard the term live a cam, I'm sure. Yes. What does that mean to you? Oh man, that means being um, professional at all times, um, open for new things. Being engaged all the time, thinking about how you can improve and do your job better all the time. Living ACAM means giving our clients the premier service that they deserve. Being true to myself, I take the mission statement and the values and uh, pretty much just bring those to life. It's engagement, a respectful integrity and courtesy. And I think if you take those items and put it into your way of life and your work habits, I think you'd be great. Well, everything that we do, you know, is a reflection of the company. So obviously you want to do everything that is going to improve the business in any way or form, um, because this is your bread and butter. So whatever you can do to contribute to make it even better, of course you're going to try to do it the best that you can. I think that that means just to represent the company well, to remember um, the company policies, how we want to treat our clients and how we want to be represented, not as individuals, but as a whole. When you live in an ACAM building, we take care of all aspects of your apartment life, from sales, brokerage, management, amenities, um, we live ACAM. It means the team that we have here. I, mean, I think you know, we end up, frankly, spending as much time with each other as we do with our own families and about living for each other, uh, whether it's the ACAM CARES volunteer programs and uh, the participation in that, going down to the Bowery Mission with a group of uh, your co-workers. Um, and really, I, and we touched on it actually this morning, the, the focus on customer service. And I think our employees get that better than anybody in the business. Um, we can still strive to do better in that regard, but I, I think that's what we're talking about. What does it mean to live ACAM? This guy. Has someone come through for you in a pinch? Yeah, I think everyone I've worked for and with at some point has came through in a pinch for me. Probably going back to a lot of people. I mean, you can even go back to payables. I mean, anytime you need something, they're always very willing and ready and able to help. I mean, even with the managers, you need something, you tell them, you know, it gets done. Uh, definitely Chrissy. Like, she's always covering for me and vice versa. Velda. If I need her help, she's right there. And having worked very closely with Maria and Mahal, they have come through for me in a pinch in situations where, you know, I was very new and was unsure of myself, and they were able to really teach me how to kind of push through it and, and be sure of what I'm doing. Brian and Elvin, um, they have found files for me in storage while closings were going on. For me, it's Elvin. Like, we work hand in hand with him. Everything um, he does, he, like, it's a weight off my shoulders, off my, my back. Like, whatever I can't handle, he's there for me. Matt. Matt? This Matt. This Matt. <laughs> this Jillian. <laughs> uh, Helen Becerno. She's always taking care of uh, whatever issues I have. Um, half of them are already resolved by the time I ask her to take care of something. Uh, this year, it's my finance department. They've done a great job in the uh, budgeting area, and uh, without them, I don't think we'd uh, do as great a job as we did. Elaine, because no matter how busy she is, how many things she has that are, you know, on a due date, she'll always try to accommodate you as much as possible. Wana. Wana? Yes, Wana. Mama Wana. Mama Wana, what has she done for you? <laughs> she is always there to help you out if you ever have a mailing or a question or just something difficult to deal with. She's always there for you. Is there somebody here since you've worked here has come through for you in the pinch? Too many. Okay. Too many. So you've been doing this a while. A little bit. You must have learned what you know from someone. Who have you learned the most from? Um, the most. 
I would say it will certainly, um, with respect to buildings in their physical plants, probably Doug Weinstein, um, our uh, VP of Operations Emeritus. Michael Berenson, because of his negotiation skills, he taught me a lot in that arena. Alicia. What did you learn? A lot. She's one of the smartest people I know. Adam Stern. Really? What is he taught you? Pretty much everything I'm doing now. Which is? Which is everything on property management, how to um, deal with uh, alterations, a lot of things that I didn't know before. What about dancing in the hallways? Did he tell you that? Uh, he taught you how to wear a Robin mask on an annual meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Stephen Pinks, he taught me that a hammer is not going to solve my computer problems. Me, I learned the most, most from the techs that come for these machines. Uh, so any what? jams or anything, I've learned how to take care of these machines. There's three of them. It's really hard to pick one person. I mean, everybody has shown so many different things and being with different person, different people around the office, different personalities, you pick up from the senior management executives and even just from finance, just so much to, just from the building side. So really, really anybody. And who have you learned the most from? Here at ACAM, I have learned the most from Michael Rogoff. What is he Mostly, you? he's taught me a lesson in patience. Oh my god. Chakra Plus. I don't have time for this. What year did you win employee of the year? Oh, it's funny you should ask. I just so happen to have my award right here for 2016. What qualities do you think an employee of the year should have? I think that they should have a great demeanor, um, a can-do attitude, a positive attitude, and just should be someone that we can all go to um, to get feedback. They should be dependable, they should uh, be hardworking, they should be a team player. Being approachable. Someone who's, you know, has the confidence to do things on their own. Someone who's reliable and also someone who is funny. I think that's very important. Dedicated, hardworking, committed, could definitely bench more than their body weight. I think morale is good for any company, for someone that can definitely help with morale. I mean, I think if they're winning, they don't need a lot of advice. I would say just continue to do what you're doing. I mean, clearly there's something in your performance and how you engage your internal and external clients that got you that award. Mm -hmm. And I would simply say just keep it going. I think that you need to be like into a sponge. You need to be able to absorb new things and if there's something that you don't understand, be able to go out there and get the answer, uh, retain the answer to use it again in the future, and be able to reach out to people, colleagues, other people that you work with to be able to solve problems. How do you feel like giving up the crown? Um, great, because I think Teresa won after me and I think she totally deserved it. I thought she was gonna win it for my year. I was like, hands down, it's gonna be Teresa. So I, you know, you know, I felt like she really deserved that title. You know, I don't think I'm ready to give it up. I might not. I might, I might have to uh, run off with it. Uh, what do you love most about the ACAM team? We've got a really difficult job. Our clients, our customers are not always easy to please, uh, but at the end of the day, as a team, we all get it together, we get it, the job done, and most of the time we do it having a lot of fun. The solidarity with each other, um, everyone's commitment, dedication to, to helping each other, making sure everyone uh, succeeds. I love the camaraderie that the folks at ACAM possess and have with one another. A perfect example is any of our Friday night get-togethers, especially karaoke, how many people are arm-in-arm -arm with a drink in one hand and singing in the other. When somebody is behind, we chip in and we get it done. It's a family. It's a big family. I love the way everybody's together. 
and we share, we share the work. The friendliness of the staff, they make you comfortable, and no matter what it is, you can get a laugh every day from someone. I like the fact that it's a very open um, forum, so we can go to one another and openly um, discuss issues and problems and questions, and there's no judgment. You can do this. You are going to be the best property manager at ACAM, and you're going to make all the clients happy because you're the best at what you do, and I respect you. God, you're good looking.